If you want to extend your wireless network's range, then the Sitecom WL330 range extender 300N is all you'll need. You can extend your wireless range throughout your home. Installation is as easy as shown in this video clip. Wireless network range is affected by many different factors. Reception may not be equally good in every corner of your home due to your router's power output and or positioning. The Sitecom range extender allows you to extend this range quickly and easily. You can think of a range extender as a Wi-Fi booster. Range extender installation is simple, but you need a few items of information to set it up. The most important of these being the password for your wireless network and its security type, WPA or even WEP if you've got an older router. These will allow the range extender to boost the existing wireless network signal. If you don't have this information available, then consult your router, modem or access point manual. It's also advisable to perform the installation at a location close to your existing router or access point, where the signal is strong. Don't start configuring the range extender at a location where there is no Wi-Fi signal. The range extender needs to be able to detect the existing wireless signal in order to extend it. Next, carry out the following steps. For this purpose, we're assuming you're using a laptop installed with Windows. Place the range extender on the table, place the laptop next to it and connect the laptop's network port to the range extender's network port. Plug in both items to a wall socket. Next, disable your computer's wireless network adapter. Some laptops have a special purpose button for doing this, but this is not the case for all computers. No worries, there's another way of doing this. It's possible to disable the wireless network adapter on the device manager in the control panel. You could go to the control panel and then open device manager. But it's also possible to open device manager directly from the Windows start button. Under Windows Vista or Windows 7, just start typing. Under Windows XP, you first need to select the run command, type devmgmt.com. MSC. Then select network adapters, you'll see several network adapters listed. Disable your wireless adapter. Now we're ready to configure the range extender. Open a browser, you'll no longer be able to see a web page. Enter the following into the address field 192.168. Dot zero dot two three four, a login screen will then appear. By default, the range extender is pre-configured for username admin and password admin. Once you've logged in successfully, the Sitecom range extender configuration menu will appear. Select basic settings, click site survey to display all the wireless networks in the vicinity of the extender. If your own network is not visible, Try working closer to the router. Select your network, click done, then apply and then continue. Next, go to the advanced settings and open the security tab. By default, security is disabled. Modern networks have security features based on WPA standards. Older routers often use WEP. Select your router's security type and enter its password. Click Apply to save the range extender settings and then click Continue. We've almost finished configuring the range extender. Next, the range extender's DHCP server needs to be disabled. You'll find this option under the Toolbox header and then under the System tab. Select Disable and then click Apply to confirm the change. The range extender has now been configured. The only thing left to do is to disconnect the cable between the range extender and your computer and to reactivate its wireless network adapter. You can do this by going to the control panel and then opening Device Manager. But it's also possible to open Device Manager directly from the Windows Start button. 
Under Windows Vista or Windows 7, just start typing. Under Windows XP, you'll first need to select the run command. Type devmgmt.msc. Select network adapters and reactivate your wireless adapter. If all is well, then you should now see a strong signal and have a good wireless connectivity. Check this by opening an internet page in your browser. Now you can position your range extender where you need it. Choose a location where there is a wireless signal so that the range extender can detect and amplify the signal.